Hi guys. Okay. So now we'll proceed with the second part of solving rational equations. Okay. So you already know how to uh, solve rational equations in the beginning. So this is another uh, next part. Okay. So the ones that we did last time is about cross multiplying, right? So when we did the cross multiplying thing, uh, we can now solve for the equation. Okay. So now we'll proceed with the next uh, method, okay, by using the LCD or the least common denominator and then multiplying that least LCD to both sides of the equation, okay? So generally speaking, we're still going to be using the different algebraic techniques, okay? And at the same time, I'm going to leave to you the checking of the answers, okay? So let's start okay now there's a different case when you solve a rational equation by uh, the least common denominator okay now what we're going to be doing first is to determine what values of x uh, is not um, applicable when you solve them because that's the point that you're using the lcd okay like say for example now if you try to look at this okay so we have the equation 6x over x minus 8 minus 2 equals negative of 4 over x minus 8 okay now look at each of the equations look at the denominator of each of the equations x minus 8 what value of x will make the denominator 0 that is if you look at it that would be what 8 right okay which means okay we cannot have x equal to 8 as our answer Okay, so which means the domain of that equation, okay, is x would not be equal to 8. So we can have as we can have many answers, other answers other than 8. Okay. Now, if we now find the LCD, now looking at the equation, look at the denominator. That's why it's called LCD. Notice that the only denominator is x minus 8. So which means both sides. So which means the LCD is actually x minus 8 okay so which means i'm going to be multiplying x minus h to each of these terms this one this one and on the other side of the equation that is it's going to look like this notice every equation i multiply x minus 8 okay now once i multiply that with x minus 8 it reduces the equation how okay when you look at this Okay, notice the x minus 8 here cancels the x minus 8 there, leaving with only with what? 6x, right? The next one, I just have to distribute negative 2 here. So it's going to be negative 2x, and then negative 2 and negative 8 would now be what? Positive 16. And then on the other side, the x minus 8 and the x minus 8 cancels out, leaving me with negative 4. So if I'm going to do the next the next line of equation, it's going to be something like this. So the x minus 8, the x minus 8 cancels out, leaving me with 6x. And then I'm going to distribute the negative 2. So negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 and negative 8 is positive 16. And x minus 8 and x minus 8 cancels out, giving me negative 4. And then what I'm going to do is to simplify, okay? So 6x minus 2x is 4x. And then I'm going to move positive 16 to the other side. It's going to be negative 16 minus 4, okay? And then that gives me 4x equal to negative 20. Divide both sides by 4. I get x equal to negative 5. Okay? So that's how you solve by using LCD. Okay? Okay, let's have another example. Look at this equation. Okay? That's going to be 1 minus the fraction 1 over x minus 7 equals 3x over x minus 7. Okay? Now... What value of x can you not have as an answer? Okay, if you try to look at it, you cannot have what? Very good, 7. Okay, because 7 minus 7 makes the denominator 0. So which means you cannot have x equal to 7 as an answer. That's going to be our domain. You can have any x, but not 7. Okay, that's the point. When you try to find the LCD, look at both denominators. It only has what 
x minus 7, which means that's going to be my LCD. So I'm going to multiply them to every term, through this, through this, and through that. So what I have now is this. Okay? So if I'm going to do that, 1 times x minus 7 gives me 7, right? x minus 7. And then the x minus 7 here cancels the x minus 7 up there on the second term, leaving me with negative 1. And then the next one would just be 3x that leaves me with that. Okay? And then I'm going to collect all x's on one side, all the numbers on one side. So what I'm going to have is I'm going to put 3x on the other side. It becomes negative 3x. And then I'm going to put negative 7 and negative 1 to the other side. It becomes positive. So I get now negative 2x equal to 8. Therefore, x equals negative 4. Okay? So can you get it so far? Okay? Now, in some cases, you're going to have what you call extraneous solution, okay? Extraneous solution meaning, okay, you're going to have two answers, but only one answer is correct, okay? Let's have an example, okay? So we're going to solve the equation x minus 2x plus 3 over x plus 3 equals 3 over x plus 3, okay? Now, what value of x can you not use? All except what? negative 3, right? So you can not use negative 3. And each, the denominator is x plus 3. That's going to be your LCD. Okay? So I'm going to multiply x plus 3 to each of them. So that's what's going to happen. Okay? So this multiplies with this. x plus 3 cancels with the x plus 3 right here. And as well as in this case. Okay? But since this one is preceded by a negative sign, so I'm going to be putting in a parenthesis, okay? So if I multiply x times x, that gives me x squared. x times 3, that gives me 3x. And then since this is preceded by a negative sign, I just put a parenthesis to make, because I'm going to distribute that later. And then the x plus 3 cancels the x plus 3, leaving me with 3, okay? Then let's remove the parenthesis. So that's going to be x squared plus 3x minus 2x minus 3 equals 3. So negative and then negative positive, that's going to be negative. And then I'm going to be putting in, since this is x squared, okay, that gives you two answers, right? So I'm going to put in the 3 on the other side to the, to the left side of the equation. And that 3x minus 2x gives me an x, right? So x squared plus x minus 3, then minus 3 equal to 0. Or simply x squared plus x minus 6 equal to 0. Okay, let's look at when we factor. Give me factors of negative 6 whose sum is uh, 1. That's going to be 3 and negative 2. So your factors are what? x plus 3 and x minus 2. Okay? Now, if I solve that, that's going to be x equals negative 3 and x equals what? 2. Why do you think x equals negative 3 is marked in red? You can't have that as an answer. Why? Because if you try to look at this, x cannot be equal to what? Negative 3. So this one is what you call an extraneous solution, which means for this equation, the only value that would fit is actually x equal to 2. That's going to be our official answer. Okay? Let's have another example. Okay, look at this, x plus x plus 2 over x minus 5 equals 7 over x minus 5. Notice that you cannot have 5 as an answer, okay? And then since it's both is x minus 5, that's going to be your LCD. Multiplying them to each of the terms, you get now this, okay? So if I multiply that, x squared minus 5x, that's going to be that one. And then the x minus 5 cancels the x minus 5, leaving me with x plus 2 right there. And then equal to the x minus 5 cancels out. That gives me 7. Okay? And then I'm going to simplify. So negative 5x plus x is negative 4x. And then I move the 7 power here. It becomes negative 7. So it's going to be x squared minus 4x minus 5. Okay? So give me factors of negative 5 whose sum is negative 4. So that's going to be x, negative 5 and 1. So that's going to be x minus 5 
and then x plus 1. Now, if we're going to solve for x here, I get x equal to 5 and x equal to 1. Again, x equal to 5 is marked in red. Why? Because you can't have that as an answer. Okay? You cannot have x equal to 5 as an answer. So the official answer is actually x equal to negative 1. Okay? However, there are equations that will give you two solutions. Okay? So like, say for this, for example, so 2x minus 4 over x equal to 2. So you cannot have x as what? 0. Okay? That's me. Remember that. You can't have 0 on the denominator, which means my LCD, since this is just x in the denominator, my LCD is x. Okay? And that's what I'm going to be multiplying to both sides of the equation. So 2x multiplied by x, 4x multiplied by x, and 2 multiplied by x. So 2x times x is 2x squared, and the x's cancels out. That gives me 4, and then 2 times x gives me 2x. And then I'm going to be moving 2x over here. I get 2x squared minus 2x minus 4. All of them has a 2, so I can take the 2 out, right? So if I take the 2 out, I get 2 times the quantity x squared minus x minus 2. So this one is easy to factor. Factors of negative 2, sum is negative 1, is x minus 2 and x plus 1, right? That gives me my answer to be what? x equal to 2 and x equal to negative 1. So notice, this is not, these answers are not 0. So since these are, this are the solutions, and this makes this your final answer. Okay? One last example. Okay? So solve the equation, you get negative 4 over x plus 1 minus 3 over x equals negative 2. Okay? So here, you'll have two values that cannot be equal to 0. One would be 0, you can have 0 here, and you can have negative 1 here. Do you see that? So that's going to be your domain. You can't have negative 1, and you can't have what? 0. Okay, now let's look at the denominator of the equation. My denominator is x plus 1 and x, so two different things. So if you have two different things, your LCD is the product of them, right? So your LCD is actually x times x plus 1. And that's going to be the one that's being multiplied to all of them. Okay? So notice that it's in red. And I put it on brackets. So that's to say that it's the LCD. Okay? Now, let's see how this one works out. Okay? So looking at the first one, the x plus 1 here cancels the x plus 1 there, leaving me with only x. And that multiplies with negative 4. That gives me negative 4x right there. Okay? Now, this one, the x here cancels the x down there, leaving me with x plus 1. And that multiplies with negative 3. So that's why it's negative 3 times x plus 1. And then this one, I just have to multiply everything. So 2, negative 2 times x is negative 2x. So negative 2x times x is negative 2x squared. And then negative 2x times 1, that gives me negative 2x. Okay? So I'm going to distribute the negative 3. So negative 4x minus 3x minus 3 equals, I'm copying this down. And then I'm going to move all of these to the other side, making the side 0. So if I move this 2 to the other side, it becomes positive. So what I have now is 2x squared plus 2x minus 4x minus 3x minus 3 equal to 0. Then I'm just going to combine all the x's. That gives me 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. Okay? So what are the factors? Okay? This one you need to learn how to factor. You know, learned that already in Algebra 2A. Okay? Okay? So, since it's 2x plus 1 and x minus 3, I have my answers as x equal to 1 half and then x equal to 3, okay? Which are, these two are not, in neg are not negative 1 and 0, so which means you have now two answers, okay? So, okay, your online classwork will still be on delta math, okay? So, I'm going to put in under the topic rational equations part two, okay? Now the deadline for that would be on Monday, 
April 20 at 11 in the morning, okay? So finish that up because like by the time it hits um, Monday in the afternoon, I'll be posting on the grades, okay? If you don't have any questions, goodbye.